And now we're in the final chapter of this tutorial. So I'm gonna show you how to make a logo for your website, and I'm gonna show you how to make two different logos. Now, neither of these logos that I'm gonna show you are gonna be anything complicated or groundbreaking at all. These are just very simple logos, but hopefully this is gonna be a fun and easy process. Now, I also wanna add that if you've already upgraded to a paid Squarespace plan, the logos are gonna be free. But if you haven't yet, it's gonna be $10 to download a logo. So I do highly recommend that you upgrade your plan first because that way it's gonna be free. So with that said, let's get started. So to make a logo, I just need to go to logo.squarespace.com and that's gonna take me to Squarespace's logo maker. And then all I have to do is type in the company name right here and then hit enter on my keyboard to enter the platform. And this is gonna actually be very similar to the Squarespace web design platform. So this whole area is the live preview. And then over here on the left, we have two text fields. And the first one is intended for the company name. And then the second one is intended for the tagline. Sometimes I use these for different purposes and I'll go into that in just a minute. And then down here, we have a bunch of different icons that we can add to the logo. And then you can just click on the one that you wanna use. And you can also search for more icons in this search bar. And I'm always a little bit surprised at just how many icons they have. Sometimes I enter things thinking nothing is gonna show up and something always shows up. So if you have an icon in mind, make sure you search for it because you might find one that you like. And then down here, I can preview what this might look like on a business card and a monitor and a t-shirt. And finally, down here in the bottom corner, this is where we go when we're done designing the logo and we want to download it. So I'm going to jump right in and I'm gonna be showing you how to make two different logos. And the first one is this square. So it's just a black square in the background and then I have the company name on top of that. And the second one has the company name on top and then a tagline or business type at the bottom. So I'm gonna start with this one. So all I have to do, the first thing is change the icon so that it's a square. So I'm gonna go right here and select the square. And then I need to make this square bigger so that the text can fit on it. So I'm gonna move this text out of the way just for a minute and then I'm going to make this bigger. And to do that, I'm going to hold the shift key down on my keyboard and then click and drag on one of these corners. And by holding down the shift key, that maintains the perfect square shape. If I don't hold it down, it's gonna turn into a rectangle. So if you do wanna use the perfect square, just make sure you hold down the shift key while you're resizing it. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over here and in the first text field, instead of having the company name, I'm simply gonna add design. And then in the tagline field, I'm gonna add chop. And the reason I did this is because I wanna have two separate lines of text for this logo, but even if I add chop into the first one, there's no way for me to break this into two separate lines. Even if I hit enter, nothing's gonna happen, and I can't do anything with it over here either. So the workaround is to use the tagline field for the second line of text. All right, and now I'm going to move these two lines out of the way again, and to do that, I'm just gonna select both of them. So I'm just gonna highlight both of them and then move them out of the way so that I can move the square back into the center. And I'm gonna start off by adjusting design. So first I'm gonna go up here and change the font. So I'm going to go with this one right here, which I have no idea how to pronounce, so I'm not going to attempt to and then I'm gonna change it to white. And then I'm gonna bring it all the way on top of the square and I'm gonna do the same thing with chop. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and then adjust the font and the color. And then next up, I'm gonna adjust the size of these two lines so that they're both the same size. And up here, there's no setting to adjust the size of these. So what I'm gonna to have to do instead is to just overlap them and eyeball it, which actually works really well. All right, and then as far as the placement 
of the words. It's completely up to you, whatever you think works best so you can play around with it. Uh, but for this, I kind of like it the best when it's aligned to the right for some reason. And then to make sure that these two are aligned to the right, I just need to click on one and then hold down the shift key and then click on the other and that's going to select both of them and then there's going to be this alignment tool that shows up at the top and I'm just going to make sure that they're aligned to the right. And then I'm just going to adjust the spacing a little bit more. And I think this looks good, so now I'm going to download it. And by the way, you can adjust the colors. You don't have to just do black and white like I did. To change the colors, just click on what you want to change. And then there's also going to be a color field right here. And then you can get really colorful with these logos as well. All right, I'm going to go down to Save Logo. And then I'm going to click on Download High Res. And if you've already upgraded your Squarespace account to a paid account, just go down here and that'll let you download this logo for free. But if you haven't yet, go ahead and enter your information right here, and then it is gonna be $10 per logo. But since I'm already an existing customer, I'm gonna click this, and then enter my email and password. And then there's gonna be three different logos that show up. The one on the left is gonna be the one that you just made, and then Squarespace also throws in a couple more. So if you end up liking the ones that Squarespace threw in, you can of course download those instead of the one that you made. And then also down here in the corner, I always adjust this so that it's up to 500 pixels because I don't need this logo to be huge. And then to download the logo, all I need to do is click download, and then I'm all set. All right, so we're done with the first one. So next I'm gonna show you how to make the second logo. So I'm gonna go to Edit Logo, and this time I'm gonna add the full company name right up here. And then in the tagline field, I can either add a tagline, but I'm just gonna pretend that I'm a photographer, so I'm gonna add photography. And then I'm going to adjust the font color to black for both of these. And I'm going to move the square out of the way for a bit. And I'm also going to change the font for the tagline. And I want the size of the tagline to be about a fourth of the size of the company name. And then this time, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that this square can change shapes. So I'm going to turn it into a line, just like that. And then I'm going to bring it between the company name and the tagline, make it a little bit skinnier. And then I'm going to highlight everything and center it. I'm just going to bring the tagline up a little bit and I think I'm all set. So I'm done with the second one. So same thing, once I'm done, I'm just gonna go down to Save Logo, and then Download High Res, and then choose the one that I wanna download. And also make sure that after you download these logos, you add them to your folder with the rest of your website content because sometimes I forget to do that and they end up just kind of floating around. So just make sure they're not floating around and you know where they are so that you can access them when you need to. Now the final thing I'm going to do is show you how to upload this logo to your website. So I have a website open right here and to add a logo I just need to go to design and logo and title and then I'm going to go to where it says add a logo. And then I'm going to select the logo that I want to add. And once I hit save, it's going to refresh and now my new logo is showing up right here. And it's a little bit small right now so I wanna adjust the size. So I'm gonna go back and go into the style editor and then I'm going to go to the live preview and click on the logo and then adjust the size right here. And then hit save and you're all set. 
So that's how you make a simple logo for your new Squarespace website. In the next section, I'm gonna show you how to add a favicon, which is this little icon that shows up next to your website's title.